make some roasted garlic for some garlic bread. And they'll be enjoying a little bit of an adult beverage while we're cooking. To get the grill going, I started using um, olive oil soaked uh, paper towels. And then I'm gonna put the coals on top of here and then light the paper towel to get it going instead of using lighter fluid or uh, any uh, fat ones. I've got the charcoal in there now. Uh, basically what I'm doing is setting up this side for uh, direct heat and this side for indirect heat. I'm gonna let this get up to temperature then I'm going to uh, put the steak over here until I get about an internal temperature of 115 and then sear it on this side to get that really nice crust uh, called uh, reverse searing. So we'll see how it works out. So every time I cook bacon, I save the fat, pour it in this jar and put it in the fridge. This was great moonshine by the way. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to render some bacon fat and I'm going to fill it up into this syringe and then inject it into the steak. See how that comes out. All right, I'm just about done injecting this. Oh, you got a squirter. Uh, I've injected it with bacon fat and now I'm going to rub both sides with bacon, bacon fat and salt and pepper it and let it sit uh, and rest until we're ready to throw it on the grill. All right, gonna start getting some of these uh, clams together. Just gonna rinse them off now. We're gonna steam them in a uh, Dutch oven, cast iron Dutch oven on the grill. garlic going. I'm going to throw it in here. Got the uh, chicken stock, white wine. I'm going to add some garlic into that for a minute and we'll get some of these clams on the grill. See how these clams look? Oh, look at that. God damn. We are ready to go. First round up. Oh, like Grilled up some gluten-free bread just to crust it up a little bit here, and I'm putting made some uh, garlic butter. Get that on here so we can enjoy this. This is from the roasted garlic that I was made made earlier. I didn't have time to let this solidify in the, the fridge, so I'm just using this eyedropper. Put some of this garlicky goodness all over this bread. And the grill's almost ready for the steak. And we got one round of clams ready to go. All right, here we go. Got an internal temperature of 110, and I'm gonna do the reverse sear now. Reverse sear action going on right now. 